Hello everyone, this is Pug from the forums, showing off the ready-to-install version of my advanced uh, monitor for the Phantom Full Throttle Supercharger. So, as before, this is the organic LED display, uh, currently showing 28.5 volts uh, status on its batteries and control uh, uh, temperature information as well as time of last boost. This is actually, the, the solid white is a graph. This is connected via CAT5 into the controller box with all of its wiring coming out of it. Uh, inside the box is the mess of wires that will eventually be shrunk into one proto board, but nevertheless, that's got all, all of the brains. It has power from the, uh, the vehicle, um, and it has temperature probes that are ready to install onto the uh, compressor itself and the controller uh, the controller housing. These run into the uh, into the uh, the bay, the engine bay, and this is hooked up to a uh, voltage source to simulate the batteries, so that you can see that as the voltage of the batteries drops off, the display reacts and shows the new voltage over time. So we can just sort of mess with it up and down. Notably uh, different from last time, there's now a button in, uh, installed to allow you to disable the system. And that triggers a relay, which you should be able to hear to uh, ensure that the system does not discharge or kill your battery. Uh, when we turn it back on, its system re-enables. So, noting that, let me turn the whole thing off here and simulate the car starting. Uh, you'll, when I turn this on, you'll hear uh, no click because first the system will boot and give itself some time to wait for the accessory to switch uh, to the actual start, uh, to the actual ignition. So in three seconds here, it's going, you're going to hear the, hear the click. Okay, it's currently zero, reading zero volts because this is off, but I'll turn it back on and there we go, 28.5 volts. And it's very sensitive. If I move it down by 0.1 volts, it's, uh, it's accurate, whatever voltage we want to go to. And if I just crank it down a lot further, I don't track below where the batteries are willing to supply. In the real world, it's going to stop at about 16, but um, you know, it's more sensitive than the real world so that you can get some more interesting information. And I didn't mention this before, but all this information, including the, the, uh, the temperatures, are logged to an SD card, which you can see right here. I'm using a one gigabyte. It has tons of space. And well, just for fun, here's this is the temperature probe for the motor housing. And as I hold this in my hot little hand, it's going to crank up from 23.7 to 23.9. That should go to 24 momentarily. There, 24. So it, these are fairly uh, are fairly sensitive, and I just wrap them in heat shrink uh, a couple times, so they're pretty well waterproof as well. So the next time I uh, show this off, it's going to actually be installed in the car. So uh, I look forward to that. And hey, 2.75 seconds for the last boost. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And in the meantime, I'll shut it off just for fun. And uh, thanks again to Rob for building this awesome system.